Hello, Jen. Steve Maeda here with another uh, 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 Ask the Instructors. In fact, this isn't actually Ask the Instructors. I'm just looking through the forum here of Venusian Arts, and I found something which I found a couple, okay? But I'm going to address this one. We're at Excess Poison. This is for you, baby. Um, Help A3 Lost. He actually wrote this in June, but it's a pretty active uh, thread with Bruno and um, a couple other guys chiming in with a whole bunch of stuff. And man, let me tell you, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. And there's almost too much that it's going to make you a little bit crazy. Now, first off, let's, let's go back to things a little bit simple. I know we're learning pickup. I know we're learning a structure. I know we're learning a lot of things. But man, let me be straight with you. And this is why uh, since 2006, I've been posting stuff like this. 90%. In fact, I'm going to say 95%. That means one out of 20 isn't this. So 19 out of 20 things in pickup are about, see it made me cough, it's so intense, are about the first two minutes of interacting. Let's go a little bit further, the first five minutes. But any guy who gets laid and is good with women blows through that in like two seconds to no more than two minutes. Okay, so all this like A3 talk, I know Mystery wrote about it a lot and it needed to be written about then, but the game has evolved, people. Okay, if somebody is paying attention to you, you did your job. If your opener gets them talking to you, you did your job. The next thing you need to do is you need to isolate, and that could be within the group, but that means one person in that group is talking to you. Okay, uh, I'm even going to go so far to say don't worry so much about group theory. You know, you can acknowledge everybody, but have your hips and shoulders facing who you want to talk to and open next to who you want to talk to. The next thing is that I would say for yourself is, you know, look, I love Tyler Durden. Owen and I are good friends, but don't worry about the sexual predator routine. Don't make things too complex. Start asking women about what you value about women. For instance, what I am attracted to. Write that down. Answer that question for yourself. What are you attracted to? You know what I'm attracted to? I'm attracted to darker skin. I'm attracted to tits. I'm attracted to, uh, you know, hey, man, I'm, I'm five. Well, we'll say I'm 5'8 on a good day. But uh, my girlfriend's six feet tall, so I'm attracted to younger women or, or to younger and smaller women. You know, it's, it's like uh, I'm attracted to those things physically. I'm okay with it. Tits, ass, legs, all of it. I'm also attracted to personality and passions, what they think about sex and relationships. And I own that. I love that. So guess what I ask about? I show my intent by being by showing physically in an appropriate way using social dynamics. That's game. How I show what I'm attracted to physically by standing a little bit closer, having my hips and shoulders facing them, looking at them, holding eye contact when they're talking to me, listening and, and eliciting sexual body language, having my center line face them, watching their lips. What does a girl do when she's turned on and want to, wants to kiss you? They look at your lips. They triangular gaze. I do that back to them. And what do I verbalize? I verbalize what I'm interested in. Okay, And technically, in mystery method A3, what's happening is that's the pivot point of qualification that transitions us to rapport. So guess what I do? I say, hey, you know what? You seem like a pretty awesome person, but you know, I love having good conversations with people. And I value, man, I value women, women's femininity, sexuality, and uh, man, I hope that's an appropriate subject for you, but what is something that's really passionate for you that moves you? There's my qualifier. So... If I were to talk to somebody, I would say, hey, guys, what's going on? My name's Steve. I just wanted to meet you. That's how it opened in a club or whatever. And I would transition as quick as possible to isolate and say, like, hey, you guys all seem cool, but I'm not so sure about you. Actually, let me ask you something. There's this thing that I have with, like, really attractive women. And, man, you guys all shut up. I know you don't think she's the hottest one. But, but my friends thought you were hot or whatever. And that could be the, the amount, the, the highest point of my nagging or teasing. And then I have my hips and shoulders facing her, and I say, look, I want to ask you something because a lot of very attractive women, they end up dating the wrong types of guys. And tell me if I'm asking the wrong questions and like, look, you know, this is why I'm asking because I'm not the most attractive person and, and, you know, I ended up dating all sorts of weird people. But I really want to know because I value, uh, you know, like sex and lifestyle and that's kind of like what I talk about all the time. But what does that mean to you? I will move so fast to my qualifier, so fast. And uh, man, if you ever do in field with me and and you think that this is impossible, I will prove you fucking wrong, Um, like instantly. But it's pretty much, if I open 50% of the time, I will get into this conversation within a minute. 
and, and talk to them in this sort of way, but complicating yourself with overanalyzing whether you got A1, A2, A3, um, C1, C2, C3, any of those things wrong, man, here's the bottom line. Open, project with what you want and what you're attracted to, own it with your body language, own it with your verbals, and isolate as quick as possible, hips and shoulders facing them, and I'll also say get as close as possible. If you do those things and you just, man, excess poison, if you just do this, open and say, hey, can I talk to you for a minute and try and isolate off the opener, that situation, that was the best advice I got even in 2006, man, the best advice I got, open off or uh, isolate off the opener. If you just did that, that situation alone of being alone with somebody, that situation by itself would get you into rapport and seduction by de default. You may even have passable, shitty game. And just by doing that alone, if she's up for the situation and you're up for the situation, man, immediately your rapport or comfort, and sometimes even seduction. Then all you gotta do is pull the trigger. All right, so I hope you thought that was helpful. Um, sorry, it's a little bit harsh, but man, I wanna start moving guys in this direction. And why do something that doesn't, that's not the most effective way of doing things? I know it makes sense in our head and we can puzzle piece it around, but man, we're meant to have sex, we're meant to connect, jump right to it. All right, hope that helped, thanks.